Hello everybody and welcome to your next Allegro HD tutorial. In this tutorial you'll be learning about um, changing the font, the default font in your actual program. Um, a, a, a note to the people that have watched my earlier tutorials um, in my Allegro Made Easy tutorials, um, still watch this because um, I never taught about uh, actually preventing memory leaks in these tutorials so this is very important to watch even though you know how to change the font okay so what you want to do is go to allegro.cc on um, the main website where we download the allegro from and you want to scroll down the page till you see oh sorry till you see resource directory and go down to tools and you should see something called fonts click that and you'll see TTF to PCX. Click that and then see the URL to download it and download it to the desktop or wherever you wherever you like to save it. I believe you're gonna be using it a lot, so save it to a place where you know you'll be able to find it. Open up TTF to PCX. Do, you don't need to extract the files, just look for TTF to PCX.exe, the executable file. Now we'll open up uh, a conversion program which basically converts true type fonts to a PCX type file something that Allegro can actually recognize and use in your programs because Allegro cannot um, understand true type fonts which um, most um, Windows users have or other types like OTF I believe there's some and other types of fonts so anyways uh, choose any font you like um, I've already converted one, but like choose a font you like. Choose if you'd like it to be italic, bold, bold italic, or regular. And choose a size you want it to show up in Allegro. Because with Allegro, you can't um, change the size in Allegro. You have to change the size in this. So if you want to make like um, one size for the a title and another size for something else, then you have to create two different font PCX files. So choose the type of font you want, choose the size you want, and click export. And then what you want to do is go to your actual project folder, click your project name, double click it, and this is only for Visual Studio users. So you w double click your um, project folder, double click the name of the project again, and in that same folder you save it, and in this case we'll save it as font1, and I'll save it as a PCX file. Okay? Now, for code blocks users, devs, C++, and such, most likely you just have to click the project folder name, and you can save it in the default directory, and I'll be able to pick it up. If not, then um, PM me or comment on the video, and I'll help you out. So, once you've exported it, um, then open up Visual Studio. Now, there's a few changes that I made to the program before. One thing that you might notice is that I have right here, like, yellow, I have red, blue and green and red and you might be saying uh, what happened to make call right well this is what happened I, I told you before that defines can be very useful in your program especially if you're going to be repeating a lot of stuff in your program so since we're going to be using colors a lot might as well make a defined statement so then we don't have to keep on doing make call this make call that right so I made a define, I named it red, and I said red is equal to make call 255 in the red category, 0 for green, 0 for blue. And I did the same for green, same for blue, same for yellow. Right? So then when I come to actually creating my text to the screen, all I have to put is put yellow and replace and the program itself will replace the word yellow with make call blah 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 and I will do it for you so it's easier to manage your code this way now there's a, a few other things that I've added to the program first thing we have our font in our folder but we have to have a way to actually load the font into Allegro so we can use a font this is how we do it Allegro has a built-in um, function called font right and basically you put a pointer uh, the asterisk stands for pointer and you name it whatever you want to right so instead of doing the all the equal stuff I'll put this I'll put a semicolon there and I'll put font one is equal to load 
or whatever just to explain things thoroughly to you so if you learn about pointers and such um when you create pointers and such um they create they open up they create a, a point and memory for you to store a value right and in that case since they create a um, space and memory for you you have to delete what's in your memory if you don't do that then you end up getting a memory leak so allegro has built-in functions to prevent you from getting memory leaks when you learn about bitmaps and stuff you'll be learning about destroying bitmaps and stuff so then they won't take up space in memory and create a memory leak and this is what i failed to show you guys in the old allegro series so what you need to do is before allegro underscore exit put destroy underscore font and put the name of uh, whatever you named the font name so if you named it allegro font then say f destroy underscore font allegro font or whatever you want to name it or whatever whatever you name the file if you don't do this then you will get a memory leak and then after time you won't notice it from now but after some time your computer will slowly start to slow down because there are going to be a lot of things that are lost in memory because you have to deallocate it okay so then anyways after we create our fonts then we have to actually load the font allegro has a built-in function called load font load underscore font the first parameter takes in the actual file name now since it's in our default directory then we just have to put font1.pcx say it was in the c drive then we have to put c oh sorry we have to put like c slash slash blah 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 sometimes some computers will take um two black slashes sometimes it will take one forward slash and it will take or one backward slash depends on your computer right um you could try all types i'm not sure i i hardly ever do directories like that so i don't really remember it but you might be able to search that up on google and find the answer but if it's in your default directory then you just have to put font1.pcx um once you make larger programs then you might have a font folder so if you were to put this in the font folder then you can put then you could put uh like say font slash font one dot pcx but since it's in the default folder then you just put font one dot pcx easy enough now for these two don't worry about these just set these to null now we wanna instead of using the actual default font built into allegro which is just font in lowercase we're gonna change it to our font and we're gonna put font one right and everything's gonna remain same as our old our old program we're just gonna put font one font one font one and make sure you have destroyed font before allegro underscore exit and if you were to run our program then you see our new font is loaded into allegro and we're using it in our program so anyways that's it for our tutorial hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching and bye